can happen and what does happen with uh, Tai Chi if given a period of time to be absorbed. It, like I said when we first began, it takes about two to three months of doing this exercise before you may get a hint about what it can do for you. It takes the body and the mind uh, that long to really start to develop some potentially meaningful change. You still had to wait for the body and the mind to do what it's going to do in its own time. And I think in Tai Chi, that's what's happening. It's deliberately slow. It allows you to hopefully appreciate the individual slow movements to uh, get the body used to. It also helps you to change some of your mind processes rather than living in a helter-skelter kind of environment. For a little while when you're doing Tai Chi, maybe you're lucky enough to shut this stuff off and get some level of calmness. And that, I think, over time, you will get to appreciate. Let's go ahead and start and do our warm-up exercises, okay? Here we go. Turn neck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Airplane. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Touch toe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open up your stance. Heisman, cross hands and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross hands, go down on your knee, bend your knees. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up and down again. One, two, three, four, five. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Golden cockerel, remember shift weight center. One hand going up, one hand going down. The front hand. Make sure you center it, particularly bring your elbows in. Okay, here we go. Here we go, shift weight, center, up. 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 Kick out. Shift weight, cross hands, come up and out, down. Shift weight, center, cross up and out. Shift weight, center, and out. Shift weight, center, up and out. Shift weight, center, up and out. Let's do our uh, twist step with parting of the horse's mane. Here we go. T step, hold your ball, out, L, part the horse's mane. Sit back, twist step, sit back, L, part the horse with me. Sit back, twist step, sit back, hold your ball, T, out, L, part the horse with me. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, shift weight, T, L, part the horse with me. Sit back, twist step. Sit back, T, L, O. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, sit back, T, L, O. Sit back, twist step, sit back, T, L, O. 
you all know the, the 10 form, at least you've been acquainted with all 10 movements. And you've gone through probably the hardest part of learning Tai Chi is the sequencing, along with, for the ones that are new, the conditioning that comes with exercise, and just learning to do something that many of you have never done before. Of the ones that have been here a long time, obviously, it's more of the same. And I must say, when you have had this period of time to look at Tai Chi, particularly the new ones, you, you get an idea that this is a slow process, but that's the nature of it. It is slow. And the requirement now, if you continue, becomes not only patience, it's persistence. But the rest of the time you do Tai Chi, it's persistence, continuing doing something which in many ways is repetition, but you're trying to get your body and mind to do the best you can uh, with the, given the, the parameters of the exercise. But persist, and, and if you persist long enough, I hope, and at least for me, it has paid off where slowly different things related to your body and your mind open up. So let's go ahead and do the 10 form. We'll do it two times. There we go. Commencing form. Repulse the monkey. Open up. To the ear, turn, push and pull. Back out, open, look at the back hand, turn, push, and pull. Brush knee, out, twist step, hands to the left, T, L, out. Parting of the horse's mane, hold your ball. Left under right, out. Twist step. Hold your ball. T step. L. Bow. Advance the left hand. Flip the hands. Twist step. Cloud hands. Twist step. Close. 12 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Open. 12 o'clock. Nine o'clock, hold your position, come back, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, close, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, open, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, hold, come back to the center, golden cockerel, Cross hands, kick out. Hold your ball, T-step, parting of the horse's mane. Pull back. Turn, push forward. Sit back and push down, up and forward. Twist step, T-step and hold your ball. Out, ward off. Advance your hands. Turn your hands and flip and pull down and push down. Turn at the waist, up forward. Open up the hands. Sit back and push down, push up forward. Twist step on the left, open step on the right twist, come down, close step, close leg, up, push out, closing form.
commencing form. Repulse the monkey. Push and pull, out, the side. Look at the backhand, follow that backhand in. Push and pull, hands to the right, T-step, turn, brush knee. Sit back, twist, hands to the left, T-step, brush knee. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, parting of the horse's mane. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, parting of the horse's mane. Advance the left hand, twist, switch hands, cloud hands. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, Open, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, hold, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, close, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, open, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, hold, come back, golden cockerel. Kick out to the right. And out, down, up, and out, down. T-step, grasping the bird's tail, ward off, advance hands, pull back, push down to the back, back to the ear, turn at the waist, push forward, sit back, down, up. Twist step, T step, pull the ball, L, ward off, advance the hands, pull down, push down, turn, waist, push forward, down, up, and forward, twist step, twist step, down, close step, cross hands, up, Forward, closing form. What I'd like to do is go back over um, embracing the tiger, coming from grasping the bird's tail, coming back, grasping, coming up to, to closing form. We're at the end of grasping the bird's tail. We're pushing away, okay? So there's a twist step back, or a sit back, twist step, twist step out to the right, come down, come back this way, and as you're coming this way, close a little bit, come up, push out, And down. Okay. Now the push out is you're, you're coming from right under left. And you've this is you've embraced the tiger. It's you you make believe you are grasping somebody. You are hugging. Them. Coming up, and you're using your legs as well as your hands to get it up here. When you get here, then you twist this way. And then from here, backhand to open hand and then down, okay? Sometimes what will happen is um, in this particular maneuver, some people will end up doing this. That's not what you want. You want to be coming from forward and up. Forward and up. Yeah. Because you're trying to blaze some, a pathway. Conceivably, somebody's got you at the chest, you're blazing a pathway and you're opening to get him away from you or break his hands whole and then you drop on him. OK? 
it, and then you come back down. Back to the beginning of uh, embracing the tiger. You're, you're finishing here at uh, grasping the bird's tail. You sit back, twist one foot, twist one foot. This hand is coming down, but it's not going to be coming here. It's just coming down as this one comes out with the foot. And moves a lot more than the, but you get almost to the middle. Again, you're centered and middle. And then come up and out and down. It's not the, the left hand. The left hand does not wait entirely. It is moving, but it, it, it is moving very slowly, if you watch. Here, coming here. You see the left hand is moving, but you see the excursion of the right hand is a lot more. And then you come back. And you're, you're here, centered, coming up, push up. OK. Let's go ahead and try that. Finish grasping the bird's tail. OK. Twist step on the left. Twist step on the right. Hands are coming down. And you, you're not leaning your body. You're sort of, your body is pot, Tai Chi posture this way. And then you come back. Close the foot. Close the legs. Come up. Out. Down. Drop your shoulders. Drop your elbows. Come down. And back to the side. Close step. Okay. So. Let's do the, the 10 form again. Commencing form. Up, take a slow deep breath in. Come down, drop your shoulders, drop your elbows. Pulsing the monkey. Up to the ear, turn at the waist, push and pull. This step. So T-step, arms to the left, L, out, brush knee, sit back, arms to the left, out, turn down, and forward. Sit back, twist step, sit back, hold your ball, parting of the horse's knee. Sit back, twist step, sit back, T step, L, parting of the horse's knee. Left hand forward, flip your hands, twist step, 12 o'clock, twist step straight, 9 o'clock, close step, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, open step, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Hold your step, come back at 12, three, close step, 12, nine, open step, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, hold your position, turn up and down, golden cockle. Up and down the hands, golden cockle. Kick out on the right, up and out, up and out. T step, hold your ball, grasping the bird's tail. Ward off, advance the hands, flip, pull down, turn, forward, open your hands. Down, push down, sit back, come back up, turn, hold your ball, T-step, L, ward off, advance your hands, go back, back, turn at the waist, and then come forward with your body and hands, come back, hands down, up forward, 
twist step on the left, twist step out on the right, and down, twist step in, close step, cross hands up, closing form. Drop your shoulder, drop your elbows, bring your hands down to the side, close your step. Another one that I would like to go back to, I think uh, we, we probably talked about that the last time, brush knee. Um, again, I just want people's hands to continue to work. Two hands are working. And surprisingly, a, a hand that, that doesn't seem to catch your attention can be very useful still in terms of helping you to hold your position. Brush knee sometimes, we're, we're coming from here, T-step, and then we just sort of seemingly come out, and some people, when we first begin, this hand sort of gets lost somewhere, and this comes here. Okay, But to get the real, one of the benefits of, of brush knee, and it is from the standpoint of maintaining your balance and central stability. You're out here, this arm is up here, and this hand is out here. When you come down, everything is still largely centered on your substantial foot and this side of the body, so to speak. So the, the portion of, to maintain stability, just for a little bit more um, of time, before you actually transfer your full power to the left leg and make that substantial, is this, as this is coming, the hand, the, as this hand is coming, this leg is coming out. But one of the things that is neglected is, what do you do with this hand? This hand is coming down in this position. And for that instant, you see, I'm, I'm really, quite stable until I'm all the way out here and my, my leg is out, but I'm stable. And then I transfer my weight. And when I come across, I'm able to use this hand for, to emphasize the rotation. Because otherwise you just do this, you see, versus if I'm thinking about this hand, this hand comes to the side. If I just left this hand here, I'm going to still get the rotation of my body. And you get the full translation of your power. Okay? So let's go ahead and try that. We'll, we'll, we'll start off from the beginning and then try to pay attention. Again, remember, brush, knee. Commencing form. Slow, deep breath in, come down, make yourself small. Repulse the monkey, open. Brush knee, hands up, left hand is coming down and across. Sit back, twist step. Hands are up to the left. Right hand is coming down and around and twist your body. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball. Parting of the horse is me. Okay, so let's go back and do it again. Brush knee. Let your body flow. This will help guide you. You can almost say, let this relax, and all I need to do is shift my weight, and the top of the body will just glide along. So here. Commencing form. Pulse the monkey, open up your hands, follow that hand to hand, Push and pull, come out, open, both hands up, palms up, turn, push and pull, 
hands to the right for brush knee, T-step. Come around, use that brush knee hand. Sit back, twist step, hands to the left. Watch the right hand coming down and around. Okay. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball. I'm wanting people to, to get used to, to try to just let yourself go. Yeah. Use, use the waist. Let's, let's go ahead and try that. Go ahead and just get up to your, your brush knee going to the left. Up this way and twist. Sit back. Come up. Twist step. And come back and just do this. Remember what I told you about once you know the twist step, you can go back and forth. Up, twist step, or T-step, L. Twist step, hands go up, change position, up, turn. Yeah. Sit back, twist step. That takes care of the, this hand. But to take care of this hand, if you watch carefully, watch what my hand does. What happened? How did my hand go? Seeking the straight through the round, through the curve. You look apparently like I am turning and I'm truly, my body is turning, but the power of the blow is coming straight. See? So this hand has something to do, but it doesn't come around. It comes from here. If I just did this, then that's exactly what I'm doing. So each has its, each has its role. This hand is telling you to do this. This hand says, just follow, and but keep going straight in that direction. Okay? Let's go ahead and try that with, with those two things in mind now. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to here. T-step, hands all to the right. Left is going to be the brush, okay? L, brush, and push. Sit back, twist step. Brush and push. Don't have to lean forward. The body will do it for you. Use your legs. Some of you are leaning a little too far. Remember, the body will do it for you. Otherwise, what happens is you do this, and you're, you're basically out of Tai Chi posture. Yeah, upright. Then you're, you have the Tai Chi posture, and you are using your twist. You're using your upper part of your body, and you're not trying to do this, because this will get you to where you need to go. Okay? You use your legs. That's, that's why... Learning to sit back is really important. Um, when we first start, sometimes sit back is something a little bit foreign. And if you try to imagine, what if I sat down on a chair, one leg? That's what sit back means. Okay, otherwise, what happens is we don't bend the back knee. And sure, when you first do it, it's a very unusual, very sometimes uncomfortable position because these are not the muscles that you normally would use. But to help you with strengthening your legs, that's what you need to do. A lot of people come to Tai Chi seeking 
better balance. Okay. Balance from you know, a physiologic standpoint, classically, it has to do with your inner ear, has to do with your vision, has to do with what your, your, your muscles and joints and tendons feel. You're doing your Tai Chi and you're moving around. You're helping all of those things. But adding strength helps you, okay? So I'm trying to challenge you somehow to, to look in at all the stuff that you're doing. And wherever you can see it, okay, try your best in terms of, because from here on in, your Tai Chi will improve as you develop your own personal insight. And you know, your teacher will sort of kibitz and, and tell you, yeah, look over here, do this, do that. But some of the stuff is self-realization. Tai Chi is something which is a very individual thing. And your realizations of, of your potential have a lot to do with what you do and what you see in what you do, okay? Here we go, we'll go through the whole thing. 10 form. Commencing form. Repulsing the monkey. Brush knee. Parting the horse's mane. Cloud hands. Grasping the bird's tail. Racing the tiger. There'll be some of you that may be wanting to go on to the 24. We'll be, we'll be offering that uh, on a Tuesday morning. That's the first time in a long time when we will be just concentrating solely on the 24. It, it's the gold standard. It's been around for since 56. So this particular um, set uh, literally is around the world. Uh, I'll do that now. So.
that will be the aim for those that take the 24 to now go back to the basic for the 24 and the 16 form, which are movement forms. You move from place to place. You're not as stationary as the 10. The basis is the Tai Chi walk. And I'll just get, go over it again. You, you already saw that I could, with the Tai Chi walk, certainly there was the parting of the horse's mane, repulsing the monkey going backwards, forward again with brush knee. Uh, those are all part of the Tai Chi walk. And the, the others uh, that you may have seen, they're not as long runs of the Tai Chi walk, but nevertheless, going forward and switching directions, going again. So the Tai Chi walk is really important. When we get into our, our L form, you remember that it's a uh, twist step, and then from there you have a T and you come out. Okay, that's, you're gonna end up with the same relationship when you do the Tai Chi walk. The back foot is 45 degrees, the front foot is straightforward or perpendicular to the line that you're facing, okay? So use the, for now, use the, the, the tiles as convenient location. If you find yourself straying away and getting, particularly on the forward foot, and you're starting to go f almost from going toward a 45 on the second step, for instance, if you're here, and you end up doing this, that's not what we want. You have to come out this way, come forward, okay? Now, and that's the forward element. The twist element of it, remember I talked to you about the Tai Chi movements is advancement or retreat and rotation. Rotation has to do with hip movement and waist movement, okay? So with the out step, you're, 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 you're twisting your waist and your hip, so you're doing this. And then you're coming and you put your full weight on the, the out standing or the twisted out foot. So this becomes substantial. So this could go anywhere, but you make as if you're going to be going in this direction. But as you come about here, then you flip out and you come forward. So this allows you to turn your, your hips and you turn the top part of your body to get the full effect of, this is advancement, this is twist, advancement, and twist at the same time, backing out again. Twist step out, turn your waist, left foot coming forward, then out to the left, straight down. Turn your body coming forward as you come down. Sit back, twist step, step forward, advance, turn your hip, come out, drop your heel, turn and drop on your toe, straight forward. Sit back, twist step, advance, turning your waist, Foot, heel down, turn, and drop your foot. Sit back, twist step, turn your waist, advance, drop on your heel, turn, drop on your toe. Sit back, twist step, turn at your waist as you advance forward, come forward, foot, heel down, turn, toe down. Sit back, twist step, turn your waist, heel down, turn your waist back, foot, foot down, okay? And when you step forward, step forward with comfort so that you're not overly stretching yourself, number one. Number two, when you come forward, remember the knee not beyond the toe, not this. 
okay? Because otherwise, you, you, it's not good for your knees and you, you potentially will be out of Tai Chi balance. You, you should be, the weight is dropping like you're dropping on a, you're sitting on a horse. Whether you're sitting here or whether you're sitting this way, you're still on the horse. The head is, the torso, Tai Chi posture, butt in, back straight, shoulders down, head up, looking in that direction. Okay. Now I'm going to challenge you folks with doing the uh, Tai Chi walk with parting of the horse's mane. You commence in form, you get your ball and you hold it, and from the T step, this is when you're going to start your Tai Chi walk. But you understand that this, uh, the right foot is still facing forward, but to adjust for that, you come out, advance, parting of the horse's mane, and like when you do your 10 form, you adjust the back foot. So now you are with the Tai Chi foot position, 45, 90. And then from there, once you get to here, then you sit back, hold your ball, but you twist your foot out. Come out this way forward as you turn your waist. Come out, drop your heel, turn your body, come forward. See? Remember, uh, okay, and then come this way. Hold your ball. Your ball is right in front of you. It's a, it, it, it's, it's a helper. It allows you, when your hand is this way, it makes it a little bit easier to be able to shift forward and, and turn your waist, okay? Out, your ball is still in that direction, but you're coming forward. And what did I teach you earlier? What happens is you watch here, the ball is here, you come out, and you, you, you're just pushing your hand forward. All you're doing is pushing your hand forward because your body will take you out where you need to go. If you decide to help your, your body by coming out, you're going to be way out here, and that's not where you want to be. So it's from this position, this position up forward. And as you turn, you will end up in the proper alignment, okay? So we'll just practice. You, you, you know how to do the uh, parting of the horse's mane on the twist step. We'll just advance down this way, okay? Here we go. Let's just hold our ball. Okay, we're gonna uh, part the horse's mane, step out here, sit back, open your step, left to step this way, hold your ball, twist your waist, come up, stop on your heel, come out, turn, come forward. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, Step out on the heel, turn and push forward. Sit back, two step, hold your ball, turn your waist, up and forward. Sit back, two step, hold your ball. Down on your heel, part the horse's mane. Sit back, two step, hold your ball, twist your waist. Turn your heel out forward, turn and advance.